Uh, thank you very much. I welcome you to this lesson from Seremba Online School. Uh, my name is Amusa Naisuf. I teach mathematics and physics. We shall be learning math concurrently with physics. But today, in mathematics, that is pure mathematics, uh, we shall have a topic in algebra that is complex numbers. Now, <coughs> complex numbers. So complex numbers, they are, as you hear, they are numbers. Basically, they are numbers. They form their own set. It is a set of numbers which is denoted or which can be written in the form z is equal to x plus i y. Now, x and y are real numbers where x and where x and y are real numbers. They are real numbers. You see, they can be fraction, they can be decimals, so they are real numbers. Now, in a complex number, when you hear somebody talking about a complex number, just think about that number to be in this form, x plus i, y. Now, if you look at this, you may ask, what? Oh, what is this? So, this x which you see, it is called the real part. So, otherwise, the complex number has two parts. x is called the real, the real part. And y is called the imaginary part. So meaning, a complex number has two parts. It has the real and then the imaginary. The real part is that part which has no I. It has no I. The imaginary part is that part which has I. Meaning, if I'm to write a complex number, then a complex number can be in that form, whereby this is the real, this is the, ima, the imaginary. When we try to denote a complex number, we can denote the real part x as this. So when you find in book somebody written x is equal to this, this means this is the real part of the complex number. You can use any other letter, or p or q. And then y, which is the imaginary part, can be noted as that. So this is the real part of z, meaning I can write a real of z as 2 and the imaginary of z as 3. So that means this complex number can be z is equal to 2 plus 3i. So this is a complex number. So I think now we are okay. We know what mean. If I write like this, you just know that this is the real part. This is the imaginary part. So you don't mind about how this one can be. It can be I, but it's better to write it like that. Okay. Now, a complex number has a property. This property is very important that when you square I, you get negative 1. So this is a very important property that you have to note. If I square I, I get a negative 1. At so, another important property we can look at is the property of equality. We have equality of complex number, of complex numbers. Now, by equality we mean what? Let us see. If Z1 is X1 plus IY1, Z2 is x2 plus i y2 then what we mean by equality of complex numbers we are meaning that two complex numbers are equal so if they are equal then this is what is important the real of that part is equal to the real of this the real of the first part must be equal to the real of the second part so this implies that Z1 is equal to Z2 if and only if X1 is equal to X2 and Y1 is equal to Y2. So this is a very important property 
which we shall have to look at in terms of application. I can give you uh, an example where I have this is as known and this as unknown and I ask you to find any of that. We shall see in our example later on. Another property we can talk about or something else we can look about is complex conjugate. Complex conjugate. Now, what do we mean by complex conjugate class? A complex conjugate, if you recall from SADS, which you did in senior five, but here we are basically looking at complex number. If I look at a complex number Z as X plus IY, then the complex conjugate of this number, this number, or this complex number Z is denoted as Z star. So the complex conjugate of this Z is not the Z bar or Z star. If you find this somewhere, just know that it is a complex conjugate. But how do we find this? We find a complex conjugate by interchanging the sign which you see in between here. If it is a plus, please put a minus. If it is a minus, put a plus. For example, in this case, Z bar is equal to x minus i y what if it was like this z x minus y then in that case in that case when it is a minus that would be z bar equals to x plus i y so meaning whenever i want to find a complex conjugate i just interchange the what the sign so if you interchange the sign, for example, don't expect a question that comes, then be right like this, maybe that they ask you to find a complex conjugate. No, you are going to be using these properties later around in the next coming lessons as you'll be seeing, we shall be discussing. Uh, in this still proper lesson, let us talk about another important aspect that is algebra. <clears throat> we can talk about algebra of complex numbers. Algebra of complex numbers here we are meaning uh, operations like how you remember in SADS. And in this case we shall have algebra of complex number of addition, subtraction, shall have multiplication, And then we shall have division. So, let us just in this lesson have addition and subtraction. <clears throat> addition of complex numbers. Take an example, just in general. If I have Z1 equals, is a complex number. I and then Z2 as X2 plus I, Y2. Then if I add Z1 plus Z2, if you add, then we add these two complex numbers, which is X1, X1, I1 plus X2, I, Y2. So when you are adding or subtracting, let me just even take it the same way. When you are adding or subtracting two complex numbers or more, even more, then you can add real to real, imaginary to ima imaginary. I'm repeating. You add or subtract real to real, imaginary to ima imaginary. Take an example here. The real of this one is X1. The real of this one is X2. So you add X1 plus X2. Then you add the imaginary to the imaginary, which is i into, because you have to factorize out here, eh? it is a simple factorization, this i, y1 plus y2. What is very important to note here that if you add a complex number, still you come up with a complex what? A complex number. Don't expect to add a complex number and you get a, a non-complex. So still you get a complex what? A complex number. So in this case, if it is a subtraction, please still you do the same. A subtraction, this will be subtract a real to real and then I uh, imagine it will So you see, I'm putting this, so it could have been x1 minus x2, then y1 minus y2. 
So when you are adding a uh, complex or you are subtracting, you add real to real, imaginary to ima imaginary. Uh, I think you have seen so far how we have moved and we have looked at different properties. So I want, uh, in our next lesson, we are going to look at other algebra or other facts about the algebra of a complex number. Thank you. I welcome. Thank you for this.